Hi everybody, thanks for coming out to this show web webinar, how cloud server resellers can profit by hosting QuickBooks. I'm your host, Guillaume Boisvert. I'll be with you for the next half hour, although I think we have so much content for this particular webinar that we may run a little bit long. Um, I'll have a very special guest today, one of our uh, uh, great partners called Brian Mangum from Brightflow Technologies. Uh, Brightflow is a, a very active partner of SureWeb and they've had a lot of success hosting uh, QuickBooks and remote desktop uh, applications for their clients. And he's gonna be talking to us a little bit later today. So, right into the webinar, a little bit of an agenda so you know what's coming. Who is SureWeb? What is QuickBooks? Which I think everybody here is familiar, but I just wanna make sure that we're talking about the same thing. Uh, we'll talk about QuickBooks in the cloud, what's the opportunity for a managed service provider. Uh, that's when we'll talk to Brian. We'll go to a little bit of a demonstration, and then I'll talk about hosting QuickBooks at SureWeb in our performance cloud. The performance cloud is our infrastructure as a service uh, platform. I'll suggest, suggest some next steps, and then we'll go into some Q&A. If you guys have questions, uh, you can ask them anytime during the webinar. There is a box in the interface. Uh, ask the question anytime. Most likely we'll wait to the end to answer the question to make sure we have time to go through the content. If one of your questions is not answered during the presentation, don't worry, we do reach out to everybody uh, that asks questions during the webinar to make sure that they get the information that they uh, desired. Another note, more of a service thing, uh, the webinar is recorded. Uh, a recorded version will be sent to you in the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. If you have to leave, sadly, if you have a a power lunch or something, don't worry, you'll still get all the information into your inbox in the next couple of days. So let's get going. So I think the first thing for this webinar, as I know that we have a lot of people that this is their first contact with SureWeb as a company, uh, we should go through the basics. SureWeb is a hosting company specializing, specializing in cloud services. It was founded in 1998, so this is no um, fly-by-night operation. Uh, we have now more than 4,000 partners worldwide. I think now we're in over 100 countries. Uh, some of those countries, I can't pronounce their name. I'm sorry. Uh, we now have more than 200 staff, including many Microsoft certified expert and also other vendor uh, certifications. Over 25,000 organizations trust us uh, for their cloud services. Uh, I think what we're best known for might be our, our uh, hosted exchange solutions, where we have more than a quarter of a million mailboxes hosted within our data centers. Uh, maybe of note, we were Microsoft Hosting Partner of the Year in 2013, and we were finalists again for the same award in 2014. Uh, it's the first time in the history of the award that somebody goes uh, winner and then finalist the very next year. Um, We've won numerous awards, uh, some of them for our technological expertise, but some also some of them for our financial stability and growth. I think as you're selecting a partner for cloud services, those are important things to consider. Basically what SureWeb does for its partner is simplifying the cloud. The partner experience is really an end-to-end -end thing from recruitment, enablement, marketing and sales support, migration and onboarding, and uh, the what we call more uh, customer service. Uh, the professional support 24-7, 365. What that means is we're not just a uh, box pusher or we're not just a, a anonymous website where you, you procure things. We're your partner and we make sure that we're hand in hand with you for the whole experience. Ah, you're here today to hear about QuickBooks and our infrastructure as a service, but we do much more. Uh, I'll take just a minute today to, to, I wanted to have that slide so that you can see the extent, the breadth of our offering. So I mentioned already hosted exchange, but we also have uh, uh, Office 365, which is um, something to consider, I think, for all partners. It's, it's probably the easiest sell out there. Office just happens to be the best selling software in just about the history of time. Uh, we offer compliance and archiving solution, end-to-end -end mail encryption. Uh, we also offer uh, compliance when we're talking about our infrastructure, meaning that we uh, offer PCI compliant hosting. We have online backup, we have SharePoint, uh, we have Link, uh, Skype for Business nowadays. Uh, and so the, the meat of this presentation, we have cloud servers, virtual networks, and all of that jazz. We have cloud databases, uh, Microsoft SQL 2014. And we also do private, manage, and unmanage uh, SharePoint 
setups. A quick word about our the three uh, partner program that we offer, uh, just to make sure that you understand that you can become a partner with your web in any way that you want. Uh, reseller white label is basically that your clients are not aware that you're working with SureWeb. We simply provide you with the service, the support, everything, and you provide that product to your client. They don't know it's SureWeb, they think it's from you, but you get all the simplicity of working with SureWeb with our uh, top of the line enterprise products, and you can provide them to your client. It's your brand, we support you, you support your clients. Um, the other, or the flip side of that program is our co-branded program, which means that your clients see um, uh, SureWeb, we are the one that provide the, the, the customer service, the support, but you still own the pricing, the billing, the customer relationship. Uh, both of those programs can get you up to 20% uh, discount on all of our product, including our infrastructure service. Uh, when we're talking infrastructure, that 20% margin is, is very interesting, very, very competitive. And we also have an advisor program. So for anybody out there that just wants to refer clients to our, our great solution, but doesn't want to manage the relationship long term, well, they should look at our advisor program where we own the relationship, meaning that we build the customers, we do the support, clients are aware that it's ShowWeb that they're working for, and you can get a one-time commission of 150% of the value of the purchase, plus 7% monthly ongoing commission. So as you can see, I think there's something for everybody. Uh, uh, whichever way you want to work with uh, ShowWeb is there and is available to you. Of course, all those partner programs are, are and it's mentioned at the bottom there, free sign up, no obligation. Uh, if you're unsure where the future is going to lead you as far as cloud services, don't worry to just give us a shot and get started. So now that that's out of the way, let's take a minute to talk about QuickBooks itself. So what is QuickBooks? QuickBooks is an accounting software package developed by a company called Intuit. It was first released in 1994. Uh, prior to that, they had a software called Quickens that was more of a personal uh, um, accounting software, and they wanted to basically do the same thing before the SMB market. They do, um, they allow SMB to do their common function, their common uh, bookkeeping, uh, accept business payments, manage and pay bills, and payroll function. Uh, it was mostly, or not mostly, it was entirely created as an on-premise software, so you install it on-premise, but now it also exists as a software as a service. A thing of note for our partners is that the market for QuickBooks is basically 29 million SMBs in the U.S., or business in general. It has more than an 80% market share with small U.S.-based business that use financial management software, meaning, like translated, it means... If they're using financial management software, four times out of five, they're using QuickBooks. So you can see why, why this webinar is so, so popular. We had a lot of, uh, lot of registrant. Uh, QuickBooks is just such a, it's everywhere, basically, to put it bluntly. Here's a fun little graph to show the interest in, in QuickBooks when it comes to, to the general uh, business population. So I use a little tool from Google called uh, Google Trends. And basically, they give you the, the share of searches of a certain term compared to other terms. So basically, if there's a million searches, you can see what share of it is, let's say, QuickBooks. And I compared it to other uh, financial software, Paychex, NetSuite, even all of Sage, and also Quicken, which really is a end client software. But you can see QuickBooks is, is way, way above everybody else. It's not even close. I mean, the closest one is that personal uh, tax software called Quicken. Um, it's just, I mean, it, it's a no-brainer for a MSP managed service provider to be working with QuickBooks. I think it's more of the other way around is you have no choice. You'll be in court encountering it at your clients. You want to make sure that you're well equipped to deal with it and that's what we're covered today so quickly there's a few desktop version of quickbooks uh, pro premier enterprise uh, all available as a yearly subscription or a one-time fee uh, the online version is now available uh, of note it's called quickbooks online we're not we're not trying to convince you it doesn't exist it is there uh, of note it is a completely different user experience so the people that are familiar with quickbooks 
we'll have to sort of relearn how to work with the QuickBooks Online. Uh, we'll talk to Brian, our partner, about that, why people are a bit uh, hesitant to go to the QuickBooks Online. But certainly what we've heard is that, and oh, I'm sure you're familiar with it, uh, you've dealt with the financial staff of your clients. Is it easy to change the way they work? Is it easy to change the software that they use? Uh, feel free to answer in the Q&A section, but I think I know the answer to this one. Uh, financial people, billing people are very, very uh, averse to change. And what we're looking to at today is to give you a chance to move forward, uh, uh, make sure you're on up-to-date technology, but not impact the way that it work or impact it as little as possible. Uh, the online version is multiple version from self-employed to plus with peril. Uh, again, available as a monthly per user subscription. Uh, there's a bunch of options for QuickBooks. You can get uh, payroll, payments, point of sales, and, and some others. For more, about, uh, for more information about QuickBooks and QuickBooks Online, we've, we've written a, a more of a commercial document. It's not a technical document uh, that describes uh, what is hosted QuickBooks. And mostly, what is the difference between QuickBooks Online and NOSID QuickBooks? Once you are a partner of SureWeb, you can access our partner toolbox. Uh, URL is on the left, but once you sign up, that will be made very clear to you and very easy to access. And it's full, uh, chock full of information for partners, how to sort of get started, material you can use with your clients, how to present our products. And this hosted QuickBooks document is one of them. So. Talking about QuickBooks in the cloud, what is the business opportunity for managed service providers? So what we're proposing here today and what we're trying to pitch as a, uh, a very good solution for you and your client is, is to take that QuickBooks installation that they have and to put it with a service provider such as SureWeb. Uh, Feel free to use all the information today and select another service provider. Uh, nobody's holding you hostage, but uh, for sure we hope that we'll convince you that SureWeb is the place to do this project with your, uh, your clients. Um, it gives you the ability to promote remote access to the software to a secured internet connection. The secure part being very important. You want this solution to be completely secure. Uh, information that is stored is, in QuickBooks is always very sensitive to clients. Allows you to retain the client relationship. And I think maybe most importantly, it allows you to attach your managed services, such as software configuration, installation, uh, user management, breakfast, ne network configuration, and others uh, to this service. Uh, when you go to uh, QuickBook Online, you lose a lot of the relationship with the client. Uh, this is really just moving their solution forward, but you remain in, in control and you uh, keep ownership of that solution. And you could keep working with your client very closely. Uh, as I mentioned before with some of our um, partner program, you wouldn't even have to mention SureWeb anywhere. Okay. So why offer OSET QuickBooks? Basically, the basic premise is to give them the opportunity to modernize their infrastructure and benefit from the advantages of the cloud without having to change their QuickBook version. Uh, no capital and expenditure and amortization is a big one. Uh, I've worked with uh, hundreds and hundreds of small business business and having them uh, spend money to improve IT, uh, uh, it's, it's a challenge. It's tough. Uh, not only that, but once you've moved to the cloud, you can scale very quickly to meet changing business needs, which means both ways. If they reduce the size of their company, they're not stuck with hardware that is overpowered. Uh, but in the same and more positive sense, it also means if they have a big success, if they have new clients, if they have a merger and acquisition, uh, they can just change the configuration on their setup and just keep, uh, keep running. Uh, safeguard sensitive financial information. That's one of the questions that we get often. Uh, what about security in the cloud? Like this information is vital to my client. I'm worried or they're worried about the security in the show web performance cloud. The way that I answer that and the way that I present it is how secure is your local information? How secure is your local network? Uh, sadly, most, and I, it comes back to spending capital expenditure money and all that. How much are they willing to spend on the security of their local infrastructure? How much for redundancy and firewalls and things like that? The idea with using a provider like SureWeb is we, we give you that 
uh, for a fraction of the cost. You don't have to do the big investment. It's all there. Our infrastructure is, is enterprise grade, our, uh, the hardware and everything. And that goes also for the security. Uh, not only that, but I have on staff multiple specialists that are only focused on the security and the security of your data. Uh, it's something that few SMBs can, or few of the people that would use QuickBooks can sort of claim. So really, uh, and this has been demonstrated in studies and everything, but I, I won't get into that today. But the security of your data is actually better in the cloud than it is on premise. Uh, and it's act a fairly easy, it, it turns into actually a sales conversation where they're red sent at first because of security, but when you have that conversation with them, it's one of the selling point, selling features of cloud. Uh, better and more uh, retain control of versions and updates. Yeah, when you go online, you don't control the software. If, if Intuit decides to change the software, you're sort of stuck with that. When we're talking about uh, uh, your own remote desktop, remote app, QuickBooks installation, you're the owner. If you want to stay on the same old version for the rest of the time, uh, that's your prerequisite. Better and more cost-effective remote access. So anybody that's, and that's really compared to their on-premise solution. Uh, if you have remote workers, if you have branch offices, uh, putting it in the cloud really simplifies that situation. Uh, increased clients, desktop, hardware, lifespan. That's a good one. Uh, that's one that we often have conversation about. So let's say they're due to renew those those desktop computers, especially let's say if they're, uh, they've bought either laptops or desktop from four, five, 10 years ago, and it really can't support those, that new version of QuickBooks that they want to run or anything like that. Well, if you're looking at remote app, remote desktop, that, that desktop really only now becomes a tin client. All it needs to do is to run the remote access application, and that's very, very light, very optimized. So you can really increase the lifespan of, uh, of the local hardware of your clients. Um, that's one thing of note. If you can come in at a refresh cycle for the hardware with this project, that's when you get the most success, meaning that you'll, they will compare the cost of your solution, your remote desktop, remote app, QuickBooks server solution in the cloud to refreshing all of their hardware. And that's when the return on investment becomes uh, uh, very stilted in favor of going into the cloud. Oh, disaster recovery made easy. I have a, a great slash sad story here. One of our partners had moved his client to the cloud for a, a few months. They were happy. Uh, there were some challenges, of course, but overall the solution was working well. And then their, bur their building burned down. Nobody was hurt, so that's not too bad. But thanks to the fact that they were already in the cloud, they were back in 48 hours. Their engineering was up. Their accounting was up. The, uh, the sales were up and running. So having a remote desktop, remote app setup is, is a great, great way to protect yourself from local disaster. Uh, Streamline centralized management, that's really for our partners. It means that you have only one place to go to manage all of that. You don't have 20 or 50 desktop computers to go and manage. Uh, you can simply work uh, from your remote console and just manage everything. And well, that might be obvious, but no more infrastructure. Uh, no, no more getting up in the middle of the night to change a hard drive. When you work with somebody like SureWeb, it's all redundant. Uh, it's all built to fail, basically, and, and not impact you. So... Right now, I'm going to bring in my uh, good friend, Brian Mangum from Brightflow Technologies. Uh, Brian, are you there? Hey, good morning, guys. Thanks, Guillaume. So just to introduce you a little bit, uh, Brightflow is a managed service provider in Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, specializes in web, VoIP, and obviously general IT. Uh, you've been in the industry since 2002. And uh, what I'd like for you today, Brian, is to give us a little bit of a sense of uh, uh, what kind of company Brightflow is, and also how does uh, SureWeb Performance Cloud and partnering with SureWeb has allow you to provide your clients with a, a good QuickBooks solution? Sure. Well, thank you for that introduction. Um, like you said, we are an MSP out of Charlotte. Uh, we focus on small to medium businesses between usually between five and 55 user base. Um, we have seen an increasing need for um, hardware as a service or a hosted cloud infrastructure um, where companies don't want to spend 
huge amounts of money um, and they want to have more of an operating expense with their hardware. Um, and they also don't want to have to maintain that, that, uh, that same hardware. And so where we come along and where we partnered with SureWeb to help us out is to help ease that burden without having to recreate and rebuild the wheel, so to speak, or uh, recreate our own infrastructure, which is it's already there. Okay. And can you tell me a little bit about uh, what type of situation uh, uh, you've come in or what type of, of client and client you've seen the most success with? Give, give our, our listener a little bit of a sense of uh, how, how you sort of target people and, and where you found the most traction. Sure. Um, we've seen most of the traction with um, the businesses who already have QuickBooks installed either on an old server that's about to crash or have it installed on a what I call a, a, a pseudo server, which is just a PC um, sitting in a closet somewhere that has been set up with some network sharing. Um, in any instance, when we run an assessment or when we run our strategies through this company, a lot of times we find that that's a security risk or uh, they're at risk of losing data. So we have a conversation quickly about their options, whether it's buying a new piece of very expensive hardware to replace that and then monitoring it and managing it and backing it up and the headache that comes along with that of owning your own equipment versus, hey, let the liability stand with us. Let us host it in our data center. Let our engineers um, configure it. Let our engineers support it for you when you have problems. Um, and then uh, importantly, too, we see a lot more Apple computers coming into environments today. So we've targeted companies that have a hybrid model approach to their hardware um, because it's been a real tricky scenario for other IT companies to try to make Apple and PC work together on the same network when talking to QuickBooks. So basically what you're saying is using the remote desktop or remote app solution, you've, you, you've got the, those Mac covered. Yes. Uh, one of the big benefits that I wanted to touch about today was um, you had spoke earlier about some of the benefits of the QuickBooks Online versus the, uh, the regular QuickBooks. But when we build, one of the benefits of having QuickBooks itself hosted through SureWeb rather than the QuickBooks Online is um, we, we truly build a virtual environment for someone to log into. So they're logging into a PC environment, yes, but when they log in, they're logging in, they have full printing capabilities, they have email, they have QuickBooks, they have internet browser, they have everything that they need to really run that desktop from that virtual environment. Whereas QuickBooks Online is just that. You log into a website and that's all you can get is QuickBooks. Right. Meaning that if they're having challenges with their local hardware, well, they're still stuck with those same challenges. Exactly. Yeah. That's uh, that's something that uh, I'm glad you mentioned. Uh, there is definitely those two paths that can be looked at, meaning that uh, you can have you can create a desktop environment for your clients and have all their applications on a on a, a terminal session, as as Brian was describing. Uh, another path that is uh, it depends on the situation. Another path that we've seen a partner use is the remote app path, which is really you just have a Basically, it comes down to just having an icon that runs the software and that to that effect in that situation, they would retain their, their desktop and probably use it for some things. Uh, I think one of the deciding factors is how far are they in, in being ready to replace everything or move everything. The other one is their, their willingness to change a little bit the way they work. Um, when we've seen very, uh, uh, I don't want to say close minded, but let's say very cautious uh, uh, accounting departments. Uh, they've really liked the remote app approach because it, it was basically a single, like it didn't change anything. It was a single icon they had to run and it would give them access to their QuickBooks, which was very similar to the way they were doing it before. Um, right. So, uh, Brian, maybe looking forward, what do you see in your, in your, uh, in your future when it comes to, uh, to partnering with SureWeb and, and working with those types of clients? Um, well, the big benefit, what we've seen um, is, is, the responsiveness of the network and the infrastructure. Um, and this is tested against some of the other bigger names out there and some of SureWeb's competitors, which we have tried all, but um, we, have, we have consistently seen the most responsive results from the 
SureWeb data centers. Um, the uptime has been phenomenal, uh, which we're very proud to say and very happy to say that. Um, so we would have partnered with SureWeb with the performance cloud and the servers, even if we you know, had no relationship with the exchange before. Uh, it's just that good of a product by itself. Um, but um, what we really like more than anything, though, is the interface and, and not having to spend days and weeks with new hires that come in on our staff to train them how to set up a new VM instance or a new server. It's all GUI-based, and so it's all very cut and dry on how to do that. So what we see in the future is just really targeting um, CPA firms, um, other small to medium businesses in the finance vertical, uh, people who are using QuickBooks um, to just kind of go out and target them to see what we can do to help host that instance for them. All right. Okay. Uh, I see the time is, is flying. Uh, I'm going to have to keep going. Uh, Brian, as always, always a pleasure to, to talk to you and um, looking forward to, to seeing what we can do together in the future. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. So that was Brian Mangum from Brightflow Technologies, uh, one of our great partner in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Okay. I had a nice demonstration of QuickBooks uh, through Remote App Plan. Uh, this morning I had a bit of a surprise where our, and this is gonna sound silly, uh, my license was expired of QuickBooks. Uh, no worries, I will still give you the demonstration, but as you will notice, I'm just playing a video. It is basically the demo that I gave when I gave this webinar the last time. Uh, don't be alarmed. I, everything was in line to do the demonstration and there is no editing to this video. It was just, it is literally what I would have shown uh, today. Let me just bring that up. And I'm gonna talk to you over it. So. What you see here today is one of the way, and I've mentioned the two ways that you can do uh, remote desktop. You can do terminal sessions where, uh, and they're now called remote desktop connections. You can do a terminal session where you open what is basically a, a desktop and you have your icons and your application and you run it from there. Or you can go the slightly more modern route of remote app. This demonstration is, is about remote app. What you can see here is the web access. Uh, YourCloudServers.com is one of our dummy uh, URL that we use, uh, one of our gray labeled URLs. So if you were to use SureWeb, uh, you could use that URL as well for yourself. Um, and I've logged in as basically one of your users. And then I can see all the application that I can, I can launch. Uh, we only put three there to give a bit of an example, calculator, uh, WordPad, and QuickBooks. Uh, obviously, you could have more. One of my favorite to recommend is Office. Uh, obviously, if you want to get Office 365, put it on a virtual session and run it at, along with QuickBooks. That gives you a very nice uh, remote desktop experience. So basically, I just logged into my session in uh, Remote App. If, uh, if you configure it so that the user domain is the same as the remote uh, domain, you would have single sign-on and wouldn't have to put in your credentials uh, again necessarily. So basically what this is doing is it's launching the application on the server. Uh, this is a view of my desktop as a client. As you can see, that was the trial version. I should have known that it would expire, but my mistake. Uh, I'm opening one of the demo, uh, demo company from uh, QuickBooks. Put in the password. And as you can see, I'm not in a remote desktop session. You cannot see the, the remote desktop frame or anything like that. It is simply the application running on my desktop. And I've mentioned it, this is probably the best scenario for your uh, more finicky accounting clients uh, because it is very, very transparent. The application just runs. Um, one of the questions we get often asked, and it's a very good question, is about how much bandwidth do you need? How fast of an internet connection do you have to have if I have five, six, 10 people that are gonna use uh, this remote version of QuickBooks? The, 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 there's two sides to that answer. The good part is it uses very little bandwidth. Uh, this is just an image, basically, and a very well compressed image. Uh, the technology has progressed very well and uh, will be We'd be happy to give you the exact figures, but uh, 
that number is very low. It's a, it's a matter of a few kilobits uh, per uh, session. The other side of that is you are dependent on your internet connection. If you are with a client and they have a bit of a, a up and down internet connection, that will be a problem. And as a partner, that's one of the advice that we give very clearly is that uh, you have to make sure that they can count on their internet connection. Uh, when, when some partners, what they do is they'll go, uh, they're saving the money on the, on the infrastructure and everything, but what they sort of add and want to make sure that they add is a second internet connection from a different provider. Uh, I've seen people go, uh, let's say, uh, cable provider one side and then ADSL provider the other side, and just to make sure that that, that company is never stuck sort of uh, twiddling their thumbs uh, if they have a problem with their ISP. On our end, I can sort of guarantee the, the reliability. We have multiple service provider. We have multiple connections. All of our stuff is redundant. So that was the quick demonstration of what uh, remote app QuickBooks look like. Uh, the thing to notice is that it's just QuickBooks. There is not much difference. The only difference is how you launch it a little bit. But if you could configure it properly, you can put that shortcut on the desktop Make sure that it's a single sign-on experience and it's transparent. Here you go. You just start the software and use it. That's an easy sell. The big difference is if your computer crashes, if your server crashes, your stuff is all somewhere else, completely backed up and everything. Uh, what we'll talk about right now is I've talked a lot about hosting QuickBooks and so far what I've said mostly applies to everybody. Uh, what I want to take a few minutes here today before we leave is what could SureWeb do for you additionally? Why is SureWeb the place to host this solution? So the SureWeb Performance Cloud, it's high performance. It's in the name. What does that mean? It means that for a standard configuration, for example, I don't know, two CPU, eight gig of RAM, it will go much faster than the same configuration to one of our competitor. I'll give you a random example, uh, Microsoft Azure. Uh, that performance, when it comes to a remote desktop, remote app, setup is very very as a very practical impact what it means is that because of the higher performance you can run more users on a smaller configuration and when it comes to remote desktop remote app that density is how you lower your cost so to be able to offer this at a reasonable cost to your client you want to make sure that you have high density and to have high density you want to have high performance performance is nothing if it's not reliable no point in being fast if you're down so we have 5.9 SLA, which means 99.999% of the time we are up. Otherwise, we have to compensate you financially. Uh, finance means we can be down for 26 seconds in a month uh, before we have to issue credit. And believe me, we don't want to issue credit. We have no intention of refunding you any of their money because what we'll do is we'll keep our system up. That's really what our promise. And then cost effective is what I was just talking about. So what you would do is you can host your QuickBooks server with us, and then we allow you to run your user clients uh, uh, by setting up a remote desktop environment. We then provide you a secure connection between your client site and your sure web cloud. And if you need it, uh, because I don't, I know we have a, a number of service provider on our, on our webinar today. Some of you may be less technical, less inclined to manage that infrastructure or manage that remote desktop. If that sounds scary, we do offer managed services that will take care of all of that for you. So what is Performance Cloud? In just a few words, it's cloud servers, virtual networks, it's self-managed backups. So I know that one of the questions we've been asked so far in the webinar is how do we protect data? Well, you make sure that you use our, our backup solution to protect your servers. And what that means is we'll take, uh, you'll decide to schedule the retention of the backup and you can restore anytime you want, giving you quick access to your client's data if you ever need it. And we also offer cloud databases. Uh, we have all the advantages of the cloud, pay as you go. It says daily billing, but it's actually hourly billing. I should fix that. Uh, which means we measure every hour how much resources that you're using. Here's a nice little life hack for you, actually. And, and my boss is always, the money counters here are always frown when I mention this. If, you, if your client is a nine to five company, why don't you shut down the servers between six and let's say seven, six at night and seven in the morning, reducing your cost drastically on your infrastructure bill. That means you pay no CPU, no RAM overnight while no one is using the services. That's something that you'll never be able to do with bought 
physical hardware or even dedicated servers at one of our competitor. But with our hourly billing, hey, you turn it off during the night, I don't charge you the CPU and the RAM. Uh, self and self provisioning, easy provisioning through elasticity. I mentioned it before. We offer Windows and Linux server. I want to mention Linux because we're a very big uh, Microsoft partner, but our Linux solution is is really up to par. It's it's great. I mentioned the 5.9 SLA, and we offer API access. I've talked a little bit about how it's different: the performance and reliability. One thing I want to mention, and it's one of the questions we always get asked, is what about migration? Well. Migration support is included in all of our of our uh, relationship with partners. There is no fee uh, to, for you to get migrated. Obviously, we cannot do uh, unilateral migration. We, we need your help. We'll get involved. But what our free migration entitles is basically that we'll sit down with you. We'll make a migration plan. We'll share our tools with you, our technology. Um, if you want to do it over the weekend, we'll be there over the weekend. We'll do it with you. We'll ensure your data... Uh, uh, comes over properly, we'll make sure your our infrastructure goes up correctly, uh, we'll be there for you. And that ties into that last point that's on this slide perfectly. One of the reasons you want to work with ShareWeb is our expertise and our, and our partners. Um, we have a number of certified people. I don't think anybody has been working longer than us with web services, uh, online services, hosting. Uh, we've been around, we're, we're getting close to being around for 20 years now, and, and that really shows in what we can do and how we can help you. And that 20 years has been spent with partners to judge yourself. We talk the language, we understand the challenges, we can provide the solution that are a good fit. One thing of note, if you are interested in selling QuickBooks solution, but you're not interested in building it out and all of that, you can talk to us and we could refer you to a partner such as Brightflow Technologies. Uh, they already have a solution all implemented. They're, they're happy to support it and, and they can uh, work with you to offer it to your clients. So going quickly, because I'm really out of time now, I'm, I'm getting uh, like evil eye from, my, uh, from the people that are working with me on this webinar. Um, so you have a couple of options for QuickBooks. You can go dedicated, you can go shared. Uh, what I mean by shared, and we, we have documentation for that, is you could have a single setup for multiple clients. If you have very small clients and they're very price sensitive, uh, quote unquote cheap, uh, you could go with a shared setup where you set up one RDS and a number of QuickBooks server, or you, even you could set up a single QuickBooks server and put a number of company on it. Uh, you'll have some challenges to make sure that the data is segregated from one another, but we have, we have technical documents, we have technical expertise to help you with that. You could set up a standalone server and keep the QuickBooks client on-premise at your client, but let me tell you, we do not recommend that. The reason that we don't recommend it is the same reason that QuickBooks doesn't recommend it. It doesn't work very well. QuickBooks is built to have the client and the server be in the, on the same network in the same location. It could work standalone if you're very close to our data center, but even then, I don't recommend it. And then the other two options we've covered, remote desktop session hosting and then remote apps. I'm going to skip this one, but basically, if you want to hear about remote desktop and remote app, we have all the information. Uh, I have documentation on how to set it up, technical guides, step-by-step, -step, how to set it up on Performance Cloud. This is what a hosted QuickBooks solution would look like on the Performance Cloud if you go with a fairly uh, robust setup. It's a, it's a good size setup. This wouldn't be for one or two users. Uh, basically, you'd have the QuickBooks database server on a server, then you have a remote desktop session host on which the QuickBooks client would run. And then you'd have remote desktop connection broker and licensing on another server. And then you'd have the web access gateway or remote desktop gateway on a different server. Uh, some of those role, you can all pile on to the same server. With some client, we've even worked on an all-in-one solution. Uh, maybe not the best, but like I said, we understand the reality of uh, working with uh, small, medium businesses. And sometimes you have to find a way to cut costs. Um, as you can see, the setup is fairly simple, very straightforward. A uh, couple of technical documents that are in our partner toolbox again. Uh, the remote desktop services configuration guide, which is step-by-step -step to how to set it up. And the hosted QuickBooks configuration guide, again, step-by-step. -step. I'm going quickly because I was hoping to get to this slide before we run out of time. Uh, here's a little bit of value. Even if you don't, in the end, come with SureWeb, maybe you can get something out of this. Uh, and take it with you uh, as you service QuickBooks client. So I mentioned QuickBooks is sensitive to network latency. 
that's why the RDS setup is usually the best uh, way to bring this to the cloud. Uh, there are some issues with sometimes running it in a multi-user mode. Uh, there's really two things that you can see and you need more performance, which uh, working with a product like SureWeb Performance Cloud uh, can really help you solve that. We, we really address that performance aspect. And then there could be issues with your data file. If it's not the performance, then I recommend looking at a technical guide. We go into much more detail about what the issues are with data files. Um, Intuit recommends or supports only a limited number of uh, simultaneous users, depending on the different versions. There are pro versions only up to three, premier up to five, and then enterprise up to 30 simultaneous users. QuickBooks is integrated tightly with Microsoft Office. Uh, for example, if you want to prepare letters, you need Microsoft Word on the same server. If you need to export uh, reports, you need Excel. And if you want to do contact synchronization, you would need Microsoft Outlook. That's one of the reasons why this remote desktop uh, solution is interesting is you can simply install remote uh, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel on it. Uh, if you have been, uh, as some of you have been long time MSPs and you've worked with the cloud before, you know that Microsoft was uh, preventing people from installing their um, Microsoft Office 365 licenses in a virtual environment at a hosted service provider. Uh, this is now addressed. SureWeb is in a pilot program that enables us to, for clients to use uh, licenses that they buy through us in our, in our uh, multi-user environment. So I'm glad to say officially that it has been addressed. If you're looking to do that, we'll be happy to help you. And we can also provide proof that this is legit with uh, Microsoft. And a, a thing of note, only QuickBooks Enterprise is officially supported by Intuit in a remote desktop environment. We've tested Pro and we've tested Premium. They work fine and they, we expect them to continue to work fine. We certainly don't avoid them as solutions, but officially Intuit is not too keen uh, on supporting them. So next step. One, obvious, sign up to our partner program. I recommend you talk to your account representative. That, that relationship with your account representative is one of the value that SureWeb, some of the value that SureWeb provides. So you could simply go to the toolbox, download all the stuff and get started. Nothing prevents you from doing that. But I recommend you talk to your account representative. They're great uh, guys and gals. They'll give you a lot of information. They'll make sure you get access to all the resources that SureWeb can provide. After that, you can download our white paper to familiar, familiarize yourself and start selling the solution. Then you can download the technical guide and then you get started. You provision Performance Cloud and Cumulus, our, our partner control panel and you start offering your services. So, as we said, sign up today, no obligation, no training, no minimum requirements, nothing like that. Uh, you can find us at sureweb.com. If you wanna find uh, more details about a par partner program, sureweb.com slash partners. Our email directly to uh, our partner program is partner at sureweb.com. It's a bit of obvious, I know. And if you wanna call us, the number is right there. Uh, so allow me to just look at some of the questions that you, we've received. I've seen that we got a whole bunch of them. Uh, so that we covered, we talked about connectivity, very important. It's important to have the conversation about connectivity with your client. Nice thing to remember is how low the requirements are as far as bandwidth. If you do a remote app. Oh, licenses. Okay. One of the questions we got is, do we sell QuickBook licenses? We do not. We are not a license, QuickBooks license uh, reseller. Uh, you would go through your normal software provider, uh, an Ingram, an Insight, uh, whoever you're working with, you'd sim and simply use those on our, on our performance cloud. It's something that we're considering. We're certainly evaluating becoming a, so a licensor, a license reseller, sorry. Uh, but for now, uh, no. So the SureWeb offer integration migration support? Absolutely. So everybody, regardless of what service you use or whatever, migration assistance is included. And we have a fair bit of experience working with RDS setup and QuickBooks setup and everything. And then if you want further assistance, uh, stuff like we do your patching, we do your antivirus, then we're really talking about our managed services. Uh, when hosting QuickBooks, is it hosted on a virtual server or is it uh, bare metal or straight iron? It is a virtual server. We can absolutely do uh, 
uh, dedicated server, physical servers. We can do private cloud if that's what you're looking for. But what we were talking about and what we recommend for SMBs is virtual servers in our infrastructure as a service. Uh, oh, this is a multiple part question. Please address the following QuickBooks pain point. Multi-user connectivity, so we talked about that. Company file backup, so we covered that with our self-managed backup. We offer other backup solution if you need more than that. And you also have the option of egressing your data back to your client for backups. Uh, check printing. Check printing is a good question. Uh, remote desktop, one of the challenges is often printing. Uh, luckily, we haven't an, uh, we've had a number of situations where we had to figure out what works, what doesn't work. So I won't go into it today because I'm completely out of time. Uh, but please talk to our, our, your account representative. They'll put you in touch with our either a business solution architect or directly with our support team, and we can cover uh, printing as a challenge. So is this full cloud or hybrid? Is colocation an option? So easy answer. The answer is yes. All of those options are available. I spent more time today on the cloud option, but you could do colocation. You could do dedicated servers. Uh, quickly, quickly. So regional support. Somebody's asking if we could support, for example, in North Dakota, USA. Absolutely. Um, if we're talking about using our migration assistance, uh, being able to get on call or, or uh, link or go to webinars or go to my meeting, we do all of that for our partners. We'll even, we'll even go as far as if you need us to say we're working uh, for you, we'll say we're working for you. Uh, we've, we've very flexible with our partners. We'll make it work. Uh, so our focus is mainly North America. Uh, we have client in Europe. Actually, we have a big partner in Africa. Uh, it is all we're it's in this day and age. We're very well connected and we support our clients everywhere. So one of the question and it's going to be, uh, can we get a, get a copy of the presentation? Absolutely. Uh, I get a question. Oh, that's a good one. OK, so maybe a couple more questions since I'm still getting them. Can data be stored in the U.S.? Uh, yes, no problem. Uh, our main data center for Performance Cloud is in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. But we have uh, multiple locations, including multiple locations in the U.S. Uh, one is in Ashburn, Virginia, which is close to Washington, D.C. Uh, basically, the data center of uh, the data center center of the United States. So, if you need your data to remain in the U.S., you can absolutely talk to us, and that is part of our product offering. Uh, somebody mentioned, if we could, could we work in Calgary or Saskatoon? Yes, uh, we have multiple partners in those regions. Uh, always glad to work with uh, people from the prairies. Uh, no problem at all. So I'm getting the comment that uh, Enterprise 16 can cause issue on virtual servers. Uh, I have a different, and it's not supported by Intuit. That's the, actually, that's the opposite of what we've been hearing. And I saw the opposite of what we've been seeing. Uh, we didn't just say it's a good idea. We actually did it. We have multiple clients that are running it. Uh, if you're having, currently having an issue, I strongly recommend you contact us and we, we cover those issues and see, uh, if those fit what we've been seeing. Uh, we haven't been seeing any, any serious issues. I haven't heard from any partners that have been limited by our virtual environment. As I mentioned, physical environment, also an option. But really, for SMBs, it makes more sense to go virtual. So one last thing. Somebody asked about pricing, that I didn't cover pricing. That's absolutely true. Uh, here's my problem with pricing is it varies so much. Uh, our pricing for our virtual environment is on our website. It's also, there's a, there's a calculator. You can just put the number of CPU, RAM, storage that you need, and it will spit out the number, no problem at all. Uh, the thing is, and the reason I don't cover it in this webinar is there's so many possible configuration, different quantity of RAM that you can use, amount of storage, amount of data that your client is storing. What I can say is we're very competitive. Um, for similar performance, we are cheaper than Azure and Amazon. I'll be happy to put two propositions side by side. And as long as they're Apple to Apple, I know that SureWeb will come out on top. So Please talk to us. If you sign up as a partner, we'll give you the price list. We'll give you an Excel file with which you can work on your solution. We also have a, a number of default configuration that are pre-built with a price attached. We'll be happy to share uh, all of those. 
I'm uh, being asked, what about iPad access? Well, let's cover iOS. There is a remote desktop iOS client, so it is a possibility. Uh, your mileage may vary when you're trying to do accounting from a, a touch screen. Uh, that may or may not work for you. All right, so I'm being completely kicked off. Um, there is an email address on this slide that you're looking at right now. Uh, please use it. Uh, and if you want to contact me directly, my address, my personal address here at SureWeb is uh, G Boysvert, which I know for most of our listeners, that's probably not that easy. Uh, but basically, my f the first letter of my name, the, the first letter of my first name and then my last name at SureWeb.com. Uh, if you call and you ask for the webinar guide, they'll probably find me as well. Uh, so I'm very glad you guys came out. This was a really great crowd, a lot of questions, and questions are always a good sign. It seems like people were listening and were awake. Uh, it also seems like people are, have a lot of challenge as far as QuickBooks and hosting it. Uh, please talk to us. Let us make your life as easy as possible. Thank you very much, and have a good afternoon.